Today we're going to be making the most delicious breakfast burrito. Let's do it. So the first step for this recipe, we want to make some crispy bacon pieces. So pop a frying pan onto the hob, turn the heat to low, and we're going to be using some lovely fatty streaky bacon. Lay your bacon into the pan, no need for any oil, but you do want to chuck in a small splash of water. The water helps to render out the fat and will get the bacon really nice and crispy once it's reduced down. So you want to gently cook the bacon in the water until the water is fully reduced, and then turn up the heat a touch, and then you want to start to get some some lovely colour on the bacon. I've linked a video in the description below explaining a little bit more about cooking bacon in water, so check that out. Pop the bacon onto a chopping board and using a really sharp knife, just chop your way through your bacon so you end up with these really nice crispy bacon pieces. And then we're gonna want some onion and you wanna dice up your onion fairly fine for this recipe, but we do wanna keep a little bit of texture, so don't go mad. Once your onion is nicely diced up, clean out your frying pan and then pop that back onto the the heat, add a nice splash of olive oil and then you want to season your onion immediately with some sea salt. Stir your onion through and keep stirring and we want to sweat down the onion until it's nice and soft. While the onion is ticking away, the next ingredient we want some chilli. So chop the ends off your chilli and then dice your chilli up and leave in the seed. Once you've diced up your chilli, chuck them into the pan with your onion. Once your chilli is in, we're going to want to prepare some garlic. So take a bulb of garlic and we want about two or three cloves, give them a smash with the back of a knife, remove the skins and then dice up your garlic really nice and fine. And then you want to chuck about two teaspoons in with the onion and the chilli. Give that a really good stir through and you want to sweat off your chilli for a couple of minutes before we go in with our sausage meat. So take some good quality pork sausages and then you simply want to remove the skins. And then using a fork, you want to just mash up your sausage before you pop it into the pan. And very quickly, give the video a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. Chuck your sausage in with the onion chili and garlic and then while you're getting some caramelization on there you want to break up the sausage with a wooden spoon or a spatula turn the heat up a touch and once your sausage is really nice and golden brown the next ingredient we want is some Worcestershire sauce so shake up your Worcestershire sauce and add a nice splash into the pan give that a stir through and reduce it down until it's a nice sticky syrup and then you want some lovely curly kale add a good handful or two of your kale into the pan give that a good stir start to to wilt that down in with the sausage and then after a couple of minutes we're going to want some spinach add another couple of handfuls of your spinach and then you want to season with some sea salt and freshly ground black pepper give everything a really good stir leave everything on the heat until the spinach is wilted down into the sausage and next we want to prepare some lovely cheesy eggs so you want to take a small mixing bowl take some good quality free range eggs crack a couple of eggs into the bowl and give that a nice whisking up with a fork and then we're going to want some nice nutty and tangy extra mature cheddar cheese grate a nice handful of cheddar cheese into the eggs give that a quick mix up and very quickly if you can just please hit that subscribe button below and stick a saucepan onto the hob turn the heat low add a nice knob of butter once your butter starts to melt through pour in your eggs and your cheese and then once they're in keep stirring and keep them on a low heat until everything comes together and you end up with a really nice cheesy eggy mixture take yourself a nice flour tortilla pop that onto a board and we want to start with a few spoonfuls of our sausage mix and then go on with a nice couple of spoons of your eggy cheesy mixture and then chuck on a nice few pieces of your crispy bacon and then you want to start by folding the sides in of the tortilla wrap and then fold over the back of the tortilla gently squeeze all the ingredients into a sausage fold over the tortilla and then I like to take a nice sharp knife chop that in half and there we have a beautiful breakfast burrito see you next time time.